what do you get when you mix benzoic acid with ethanol? Well, I want you to know that anytime you mix a carboxylic acid with an alcohol, you're going to end up with an ester. You create water in that process. The idea is that carboxylic acid plus alcohol yields you that ester and water. Now it's actually an equilibrium between the two, but that's neither here nor there. Let's draw it out so you can visualize it. Benzoic acid is a benzene ring that has an extra COOH connected to it. And ethanol is an alcohol that has a two carbon chain attached to it, or rather it's a two carbon chain with an OH on it. When you combine these two, there's actually like a five or six step reaction that ends up happening. But the end result is that the OH from the acid and the H from the alcohol end up connected and falling off of the molecule entirely. That's what gives you the water in this reaction. The other product is basically this without the OH. I'll take a couple seconds to copy that out. Now notice I stopped right at the O from the OH that fell off. What is there now is this O from your alcohol. Whatever is connected to that O remains connected, and that's why you end up with an ester. Now, the fact that this is an ester comes from the fact that you've got a double bonded O and a single bonded O with more carbons on the other side. I want you to be able to predict the structure of an ester from a carboxylic acid and alcohol. Then you gotta be able to name this. The O8 portion of an ester's name comes from the part connected to the double bonded O. Benzoic acid yields you benz O8. It's usually this same root that gets changed to eight when you make the ester. And then the portion that goes out front with a space in between comes from the alcohol. Ethanol will give you an ethyl group hanging off of that O. So the answer to benzoic acid plus ethanol, the answer is water plus ethyl benzoate as an ester. Now this is catalyzed with either H plus or OH minus, student's choice. Well, I guess it's like your boss's choice when you're doing this in a real lab, right? Not bad. Carboxylic acid plus alcohol gives you an ester plus water. It's a condensation. It's a beautiful thing. Just like you are, my friends. Best of luck.